So what happened to that alien game that was rumored to be an MMO? We haven't heard much news about it since January. What's up everyone, Carlos here with an update on this game. Now, it's been under the radar for a very long time and it was stated back then that although there was little information about the game's development, it was going to be a massive multiplayer online shooter. Some time ago, it was reported that it was going to be set on the Alien Cinematic Universe and released on consoles and PC. The game was described to be an action-packed, persistent world. When 20th Century Fox was selling many of their assets and franchises, they also handed over their video game section. It was stated by various news outlets that Scopely did purchase the list of Fox Next games, but this would not last long. Shortly after, Cold Iron Studios would be put up for sale. They were the ones developing this new alien MMO game. The reason for Scopely selling off Cold Iron Studios is because Scopely mainly focuses on mobile games, and they have no interest in AAA games. So for a long time, we had no news on what's going on. But now, Cold Iron Studios has found a new home. The company known as Daybreak Games has acquired Cold Iron Studios. Here's what it says. Cold Iron Studios co-founder Craig Zinkiewicz will continue to lead the studio and the development of the Alien game, reporting to Ji Ham, CEO of Daybreak Games. The game promises to deliver an action-packed sci-fi shooter experience unlike any other game on the market. We're incredibly proud and excited to be part of the Daybreak family, said Zinkiewicz. Daybreak and Cold Iron share the same passion and long history for delivering action-packed multiplayer games for audiences worldwide. In combining our decades of experience, developing and launching globally successful multiplayer titles, we are destined to make great games together. We are delighted to have Cold Iron Studios join the Daybreak Games family and accelerate our next generation of growth, said Ham. Strategic investments in highly talented and proven teams that have outstanding leaders and a track record of developing awesome online games is an important part of our growth and strategy for Daybreak. Daybreak Games is well known for some blockbuster games such as H1Z1, EverQuest, Planetside 2, DC Universe Online, The Lord of the Rings Online, and Dungeons and Dragons Online. So it's safe to say Cold Iron Studios has found a good home. There was also a tweet from the founder of Cold Iron Studios about the situation. He said that his company is still going strong and their alien shooter is going to be amazing. While the information about the gameplay has been extremely limited over the past year, there was a rumor back in May that the game might adapt a style similar to Borderlands or Destiny, including a hub system. This rumor also included the timeline of the game. It would take place several years after Aliens and would follow into Aliens Infiltrator, this is a book that serves as a prequel towards the new Alien MMO game. This book is set to be released in October of 2020. While the gameplay information was a rumor, it did mention monetization for cosmetics, armor, skins, and weapons, stuff like that. However, this anonymous post from 4chan did have one connection to the upcoming book. It did mention the Paula Station, which is brought up in Aliens Infiltrator. So this could be true because of this small connection, but until we get more solid information, the stuff about cosmetics, gameplay, and timeline could be false. Now, I have a feeling that the book Aliens Infiltrator will be released as a way for us to get caught up into the story that leads into the upcoming game. Considering how there is no gameplay, no trailer, almost nothing about the game, the book might serve as an introduction of things to come. The last thing I want to bring up is there was a podcast on YouTube back in April of 2020. The Studio Utani channel spoke to the author of the upcoming book, and he said this, I was able to create several new aliens in the book that excited the game company, and they're looking to see 
if they can maybe invigorate the Alien franchise and use some of those new ones in the game. He also mentioned that his book includes scientists experimenting on aliens who are trying to weaponize them. This is a reoccurring theme in the Alien universe. If it's not Whalen yutani doing this, there's always someone else doing it. So that covers the latest news around the Alien MMO game. Yes, it's still in development, so hopefully we can get some official news about the story, gameplay, and multiplayer very soon. If you are a fan of the Alien franchise, do you think an MMO type of game is a good idea? Or do you prefer something like Alien Isolation? Tell me in the comments section. I know a lot of fans have wanted a proper sequel to Alien Isolation, and I can agree, it was an amazing game. A sequel in that fashion would be very welcome. But it also brings up the question, how many of you would like to give an Alien MMO game a chance? I think it's something different and I'm willing to try it. I know Alien Blackout was not liked by a lot of fans, mainly because it was a small mobile game. But if you look past that, it did serve as a sequel to Amanda Ripley's story, it just wasn't the game we all wanted. It's hard to say if MMO is the right way to go for an Alien video game, but something new might prove to be the right decision. You will never know what will happen unless you try. If we look at Alien Isolation as an example, it was not a typical first-person shooter. Instead, it brought a sense of fear and uncertainty. The artificial intelligence of the alien was really good. And the slower pace of the game felt like a proper survival horror game. You felt like you were being hunted. And in the end, it was given such high regard from critics and fans. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate a like rating. Subscribe to see more updates on this game when it comes out and click the bell icon. This way you turn on notifications. When we get more information about the game, I will give you an update. Now, if they release a trailer, I'll give you my thoughts on what I think about it. I have been a fan of Destiny and how it plays. So if this alien game is similar to that, I think I will like it. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. This is Acid Glow and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.